Hey guys, it's Kevin here from 2D House with another Photoshop tutorial. Today we'll be doing a basic retouch of a food shot we did yesterday. We'll be using the beta version of Photoshop CS6, but first we're going to open the raw images into Photoshop CS5 because CS6 won't currently support files from our Nikon D4 even with camera raw updated. I'm going to open up the file and save it twice. I'm going to take the first one and bring the fill light up to about 45 so we can get more detail in the shadow areas of the chicken and I'll save the other one as is. I'm saving these as DNG files which are digital negatives to bring into CS6. As usual, I'm going to focus on non-destructive editing which means that you can fine tune and adjust any of the changes you make to the image. I'm going to open up both images into CS6. I'll take the image with the fill light brought up and paste it onto the original file. I'll apply a layer mask to the image and fill it with black. Using the brush tool, I'll paint the chicken and rice back in using a white paintbrush on the mask to reveal what's underneath it. Then, using a gray brush, I'll paint the cayenne back in. The reason why I'm not using a white brush for this is because I don't want the cayenne to be too bright. Next, we'll crop the image. The great thing about CS6 is that the crop tool is now non-destructive. This means I can go back and change my crop anytime so long as the delete crop pixels box is unchecked. By default, my Photoshop CS6 had this checked, so be sure to make sure before using this tool. Turning the info palette on shows the numeric values for your colors. I try not to rely on my monitor for colors, so this is a good way to check shadows and highlights. Seeing how this dark corner isn't pure black, I'm going to black it out completely. I'm using a levels adjustment layer here to black out that corner. While holding the option key or alt on a PC, I can see where the shadows clip to pure black. Filling in the mask to black, I'll paint that corner with my white paintbrush so that's the only part of the image affected by my adjustment layer. To draw more focus on the food, I'm going to create a dark to transparent gradient starting at the top of the image on a new layer. I'm going to switch the blending mode on the layer to soft light and turn it down to about 20% opacity. I feel the top left corner of the image is kind of bright, so I'm going to brush in some darkness using a low opacity brush. I think the image can use a bit more pop and color, so I'm going to make an adjustment layer for saturation. The greens in the image are looking dull as well, so I'll make a separate saturation adjustment layer and again, fill the mask to black and paint white back in for the area I want affected. Quick tip, when using the brush tool, I often use white or black. The shortcut for the brush tool is B, and the shortcut to switch to a black and white color is the letter D for default, and to switch between the primary and secondary color is the letter X. The onion has a piece sticking out, so I'll use the patch tool to get rid of it. I select the area I want to remove and just drag it to an area I want to replicate. It may take a few passes to get it clean. So here's the final image. Because of proper controlled lighting, this image didn't need much work done to it. I hope you guys learned something and stay tuned for the next retouch tutorial. As usual, subscribe and like us on Facebook for more updates.